nothing too special Drunk to the bone when I met you I don't give a fuck with the next dude I don't really see no issues with it Just one of those nights when you want my back I don't want no love, you can have that back Hi guys, it is Sunday the 9th I leave tomorrow Which is kind of sad, leaving Ali I'm not leaving so I'm not gonna lie but yeah yeah so I'm leaving tomorrow and I packed in everything today but just like a recap of the last few days so on Friday I went to see my other cousin Nadia we had um, a croissant and coffee at Cafe de Paris on Friday evening we went to go and see um, my dad's friends and my mom's friends and it was just such a nice like dinner it was cut short we went to queen of hearts um and we ate at little italy because i think they're like the best pasta place here and i still stand that they are um so yeah we went there i had a spinach and ricotta ravioli with tomato which was really good then yesterday Friend to the friends cafe. Yeah, we went to friends cafe. Yeah, he went to Christie's. Yeah, I went to. Okay. <laughs> so yesterday, which was Saturday, we went to friends cafe for breakfast. The worst cappuccino we both had. <laughs> it was so grumpy, but the food was good. Like it was a nice place. I think it's just the cappuccino just set us in a bad mood because we were both so keen for like coffee, and then yeah, it just wasn't that good. Um, and then I came home and started perfecting cappuccinos here. Um, but yeah, uh, so we went had that. We had a croissant. I had just a plain croissant. I had the almond one. Then we shared like this avo toast thing with Megan <laughs> and we, it was like an extra side of bacon that it was like $2.50 for like two pieces of small bacon but anyways whatever um yeah then came home and then I went to go see my other friend Christy so not the other Christy the other Christy Christy now um it was her birthday it was her 25th birthday <laughs> And yeah, it was really nice seeing her. I also haven't seen her in so long. Hopefully I'll see her in Feb if she comes to Cape Town. Um, yeah, so I saw her for a bit. Then we had dinner. Yeah, Ali and I just watched some movies. We watched this other movie. I don't know what it was called. It was with Anna Kendrick and that guy from Grey's Anatomy. And no, I don't watch Grey's Anatomy. So I don't know what his name is. Daniel Kim. Is that it? In Maybe that movie, was his... in the movie. <laughs> in the movie. No, it wasn't. Are you sure? It was David Kim. Okay, they're fine. I don't know what his name is in real life, but like you know the guy from Grey's Anatomy, that guy. Then today, what do we do? Uh, um, I got up early. I went for my COVID test. Not that early. Ali was still sleeping, and I didn't bother him, so I was just like, let me just go. Went to Mars. So if you're traveling in Zim, this is a shout out to Kieran because Kieran's the one that told us about cheap covid test at mars opposite parinatwa they literally do a covid test for 30 dollars is it david kim well no it was david ah, okay. what you daniel mean? day kim his so name is daniel <laughs> day kim yeah okay i was kind of close <laughs> you said daniel kim yeah <laughs> okay i was i was right guys i was right okay that's great um anyways yeah, so did the COVID test and everything. Then we went for lunch to Ocean Basket, which was really nice. Like, it was good food. Just, I don't know, I waited towards the end, just became a bit ditzy. Oh, and then I went to go say bye to my uncle and my gran and my aunt and my cousins and drop off the car. And then came home. Ali made a cappuccino again. And yeah, I just finished some last minute packing. <laughs>
too special Drunk to the bone when I met you I don't give a fuck with the next dude I don't really see no issues with it. Hey guys, back home now In Cape Town The flight was good yesterday Wasn't bad I basically just finished reading um, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck It was a really good book, would recommend it I'm now gonna like restart reading Atomic Habits Because I started it last year but then I just never finished it and like one of my goals for this year is I want to read 24 books so that's two books a month which is quite chilled so that's what I'm gonna do yeah this morning I didn't set an alarm for boxing like I completely forgot and I woke up and I was like oh my gosh I need to get like ready and everything like before my alarm went off and then it was just too late like I jumped in my car drove out the gate and then like I put on um ways because I like seeing ways because it'll take me and avoid traffic and I was like, I'm going to get there 10 to 15 minutes late. And I was like, so I can't change it. So I just missed the, my session, which is upsetting. So I'm probably now going to go on Thursday afternoon after my class and then Saturday morning. And I'm hoping I get my schedule because they just haven't sent me my schedule. And it's really annoying because I really want to just like plan things and like have an idea of like what my life is going to be like and like plan my sessions and everything like before they get filled up and I just can't do that because I like going in the mornings and like if I'm going to go in every day then I don't know if I can do mornings I'll probably have to do evenings Ugh, we'll see so yeah got my nails done I got the same design as my mom she sent me the design and I was like oh I'm actually just going to do the same thing as her so I just want to kind of create my vision board for this year and when I create my vision board, I want to just write out my goals. I want to just like finish up doing my digital planner, which I'll show you guys as well. Um, I bought a digital planner and I just want to like test it out because I've done it before, but I haven't done it. I never bought a planner planner. Like I used to just add planner pages and create my own. So this is like a proper planner planner. And so I'm going to test it out, see how I like it because I usually buy the physical book and like... I just really don't want to carry so much stuff around and like I have an iPad, I am paperless so I might as well you know put it more to use. So I'm gonna just finish setting that up. I did set up a little bit of it in um, Zim when I was there with Ali but I'm gonna finish setting that up, do my vision board, then yeah I also want to like epilate my legs, get rid of like my moustache and like tweeze my eyebrows and just like reset and refresh, do like a face mask, um, have a bath. I also want to figure out my morning and night routine, write it out and everything just as a mental thing for me. So a lot of admin thingies I want to do today. Yeah, I'm going to stop chatting now and I'm going to go and do my vision board and set up my planner. Drunk to the bone when I met you I don't give a fuck with the next dude I don't really see no issues with it Just one of those nights when you want my back I don't want no love, you can have that back I just want that peace of mind, throw it back one time Up on me like that, I'll be out my mind
fits in my vision board. I'm quite happy with it. So I've done that. I'm gonna just fix up my planner, just put in like some things and yeah, I think I actually might take a nap, like I'm quite tired, so we'll see. <laughs> Drunk to the bone when I met you I don't give a fuck with the next dude I don't really see no issues with it Just one of those nights when you want my back I don't want no love, you can have that back I just want that piece of my throw back one time Up on me like that Morning guys, I'm gonna make this quick and short because I'm literally running late, but this is my outfit. Um, as you know, I'm registering today, so yeah, I have my honors registration, so I'm gonna go and do that. We have like an orientation as well, so I will take you along for as much as I can. But yeah, so the dress is from this little boutique shop. It is in the Eden on the Bay Mall. Um, yeah, so it's this dress, then I have the little sandals, these navy blue sandals, all my jewellery and stuff, and then I did a very simple makeup, but I really need to run, because I'm picking up Kuni to go to the academy, so yeah, I'll chat to you guys when I can. I'm back home um, today was really fun I didn't expect to see like some of the people I think it was just a really nice surprise so I'm actually very excited for the year there is gonna be eight to nine of us um, doing honors there's three of us doing multi which I think is quite cool yeah overall I'm just like really excited and just excuse like how crazy my brows are just <laughs> I got something in my eye, like I thought I found like a bug flew in my eye and then I just, I was like rubbing it. Um, but yeah, so it was really nice. The morning was like very inspiring, like I just got super inspired, like with just like, and excited about the whole year. So I still am, I just then had registration, which we got told it would only take 30 minutes, but it landed up being like an hour and a half, which was really long and we were meant to go to the wine farm at one and we only landed up going there at half past two so anyways we went there it was really nice just like had like a little bit of wine and then i came home which took like 45 minutes um i called ali for a bit in the car then came home i was super grumpy because i was just so tired and like it was just like a lot of waiting and like not really a lot of Oh, productive things if that makes sense like you know but anyways it's fine so back home now I'm also figuring out my morning routine as you saw yesterday I created my vision board yeah I also managed to like get all my arm hair and leg hair and my mustache and did my eyebrows I did like that whole jazz but like I still need to do a face mask because my skin is a little bit like it's just feeling clogged <laughs> so I just want to do like a face mask and just like pamper my skin um this evening but yeah so that's kind of my plan so i'm just probably gonna do some run around things now just figure out like what i want to do with this space because i want it to be really inspiring and like yeah i want it to be like my all-purpose space like i don't even want to call it an office i want to call it my inspiration room so that's the vibes I'm gonna just 
do some stuff until about maybe quarter past eight, half past eight, then go have a bath, decompress, relax, get ready for tomorrow. I'm in the process of trying to curate my routine and I still don't have my timetable. So I'm hoping that I can like ask her for it tomorrow and I hope she can give it to me because I'm trying to plan my boxing and I just can't because I don't know when I can go because if I go at half past seven to half past eight and class starts at nine, there's no showers there and I don't want to constantly shower at like calves or something because it's just like a mission for me. Like I just, you know, so yeah, I'm going to just figure that out. Hopefully that's not the case, but we'll see morning guys it's thursday and i'm going to the academy we're doing a creative workshop um today so that's gonna be exciting it's from nine to three so i'm just gonna take you along for that um i don't know exactly what it is but like if i can film i'll film but we'll see but i just want to show you my outfit so i have my everyday jewelry on and this little top that I got from factory then this is a skirt, so it's like shorts in the back that um, my mom and dad got me from Zara and then I'm wearing these loafers that I got in Portugal um, yeah they have like this kind of like little detailing on them which is quite cute so that's what I did and then I just did my everyday makeup and then I did like a little wing um, just to do something extra but that's what I've done and yeah I'll see you guys when I get to the academy Drunk to the bone when I met you I don't give a fuck with the next dude I don't really see no issues with it Just one of those nights when you want my back I don't want no love, you can have that back I just want that piece of my throw it back one time Up on me like that Just finished boxing so i'm gonna get my boxing stuff and everything and i'm a bit sweaty but oh it was really good like i expected it to be so hard because like i took like two weeks from training like anything i mean i was doing just the burpee challenge for quite a while but like i expected it to like have decreased in my like ability <laughs> so much but like i was actually very very impressed with myself today so i'm quite proud and like really happy and yeah so usually i go in the mornings but i think with my new schedule i'm gonna have to be doing it in the evenings and i'm actually thinking that i'm a little bit more like i was so tired after today which i'll get into but i like it was actually better i don't know if that makes sense like, i had a little bit of a break and then like i was so keen to just like exercise and i actually feel like i can like, like relax so yeah i'm gonna go home now i'll probably only get home at like about seven just after seven but yeah like today was so nice we did the the creative workshops we worked a lot in like the illustration room and yeah i just did like some mark making like listening to a song which is something we did in first year where we like listened to music and like made like a drawing 
and then I kind of played around with the printing press and I was like so impressed with like what like I've made with the printing press and like I think I'm definitely going to be playing around a little bit more in the illustration room just even just for myself like to get myself in like a good headspace um, maybe it can turn into something that helps me with like my multi but we'll see but I'll sh like I think I'm I'll insert the clips of like my um my stuff i think you might have seen like i did like a nice little daisy thing so i'm actually gonna frame it when i get home because i think it's so nice and yeah i think like i was like really happy about it like i didn't expect it to turn out so well so yeah i'm gonna go home um if i have some energy later we got given <laughs> a whole bunch of like assignments that we need to well like yeah like lecture things that we need to do because we have an assignment that's due on sunday so it's like literally our first um assignment for this little course that we're doing so yeah i have like i have four videos to watch three lecture slides to go through and then i need to just write like i think it's just like a little short review or like essay like one page it's not too bad so yeah if I could try and do that like a little bit today a little bit tomorrow get it done so that I can kind of just have like the weekend to like reset and hopefully just rest up for the next week then yeah but I'll chat to you guys when I get home or just show you like what I get up to at home